hello everyone welcome to my channel on youtube god bless you if this is your first time on this channel please kindly endeavor to subscribe to my channel god bless you as you do so in the mighty name of jesus i remain your brother in christ jesus of mr paul tyro of blessed to watch ministry please endeavor to like my youtube channel watch my messages and also share to your contacts wherever they may be like this video that you're watching and share it and as you do so it shall be well with you in the name of jesus christ amen i understand that there's a lot of things going on in the nigeria election going 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 you know well we can only give god thanks and praises for the things that he is doing in nigeria and we believe that greater things that the new nigeria we emanate from these elections in the name of Jesus Christ. We, we we have our own way of thinking that, okay, this is the way it is going to happen, but God has his own way of making things happen. Hallelujah. So, I just want to share this revelation with us so that, you know, we can pray more and trust God more and also remember that God has not forsaken us. God has not forsaken us. He has not forsaken us in Nigeria. We are a delight unto God. We are a delight People, delightful people unto God, and God is interested in what is going on in Nigeria, and surely He will, He will bring it to pass. There was a time like that. I was in a revelation, and I saw the Spirit of the Lord, and He spoke to me. He says, He said they are, they are about to write a new song for Nigeria. They are about to write a new song for Nigeria, and He wants me to be part of it. You know, I saw a lot of people come to His desk, and they were writing their names, and I saw my name also written on that list. You know. As, as, as Nigerians, and you know, we are to come together as one and also have to establish a new Nigeria upon the face of the head. We can only do what we can do, but it's only God that will bring in the vows to establish that which we have trusted him for. And so shall he do for us in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. And I was in a revelation some mm, last year. Towards the end of last year, I can't say precisely, but towards, towards the end of last year, and I saw in this revelation, you know, in this revelation, I saw that the Spirit of the Lord came mightily upon me. He came mightily upon me, and uh, He took me up into a very high, tall building. And, you know, by the power of the Spirit that was reverberating in me, you know, in that revelation, the building was so. The building was. The builder was unable to stand on his own. It was, I mean, the power of God is so strong and mighty. As it took me up onto that strong and mighty building, and uh, the builder was shaking. I was about to collapse when in a, in a jiffy, he took me up and I know, put, put me down in a soup and you know, I just entered into the stronghold of that building. Into that, into the stronghold. Of that building which is at the base at the base of that stronghold you know it was so full of soldiers soldiers they were there and fighting and i also saw some other soldiers coming in from the outside trying to invade trying to invade that stronghold and so in this revelation what i saw was so was so interesting and you know <laughs> was so awesome and i saw i saw this inside inside the stronghold there with the soldiers trying to fight other soldiers that were coming in to intrude into that stronghold. I saw this great man of the HPC in the name of Bola Hamed Tunumbu. I saw him, I saw his wife, and I saw people around him. I saw how his wife carried him and hold him as if he wasn't feeling too fine or as if he wants to fall, as if he wasn't on the right and the good health. And they looked at me and said to me, Bishop, <laughs> pray for me you know many people call me different names when they saw me in the spiritual realm hallelujah so what he saw was a bishop <laughs> and i said bishop please pray for me and i looked at him and i said baba go and rest what you need now is rest you have tried your best for the nigeria democracy what you need now is rest i told him to go and rest and i saw him and his wife and the and the people around him you know the soldiers around him they took him it was they were taking him out of that building out of that stronghold out of that stronghold you know he said well, he is he, 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 
His desire, his desire is to stay in that stronghold. His desire is to be in that stronghold and to rule that stronghold. But I see that his health is not too good. I see that uh, some, 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 some attack from an army are going to be so much upon him that it's going to pull him out of that stronghold. That's going to pull him out of that stronghold. And that's the reason why he called for prayers and said, Please pray for me. I, so you see, I, it's that's that's that indicates someone that actually know the importance of prayer because you know that if prayer is being made for him on his behalf, God be what God will stand by him. But I told him, go and rest. <laughs> Hallelujah. And I move further into the stronghold of that into the <clears throat> into the stronghold of that uh, into the 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 the. the, 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 the the master the master room of that stronghold and it was empty it was empty i look around i look up now i look here and there inside the master bedroom and i saw that it was empty there was no one there there was nobody there and i was moving out of that stronghold again i was moving out of that master bedroom while i was in the corridor i saw that the soldiers that were outside that were invading that stronghold have already penetrated into the parameter hmm, hallelujah <laughs> the body penetrated into the parameter of that stronghold of that building and they were already infiltrating into that building they were hammers they were hammers and i was watching all this thing was going even some soldiers that were coming against that were coming that were coming for me i just with them with my hands as the spirit of god moved me <laughs> you know i just with them you know and you know and i was going moving looking at what is happening in that in that stronghold and as i was coming out fully from that master bedroom from the corridor mm -hmm. then i saw these soldiers that they had already invaded the strongholds these soldiers that were coming from the outside they had already invaded invaded the stronghold and one came to me he was, seems to be the he seems to be the leader he seems to be the leader of this army and he is from the eastern extraction he is from the eastern extraction Hallelujah. He's from the Eastern Extraction. And he looked at me. He came to me so badly and he said, Give me what belongs to me. He said, Give me what belongs to me. It is my dest it is it I am it is my destiny. Give me what belongs to me. See, I have come, he said, I have come to ask on my destiny. I wrote it down. He said, I have come to ask, I have come to take what is mine. I have come to act on my destiny. That is what he said to me. He, he was saying this so badly, you know, he came to me, he was saying, see, <clears throat> as the Spirit of God was still, you know, you know, moving me and, you know, so he came to me and said, I have come to act on my destiny. I've come to take what is mine. And then I looked at him and I smiled and I said, are you sure you are ready for this? <laughs> Because I, I was a bit reluctant to give it to him. And then I said, are you sure you are ready for this? Are you sure you are ready for this? And I said, yes, give it to me. It is mine. And then I am not telling him and ask him to be out his vessel. And then because there was a white substance, a white cup with a substance, with a white substance inside it in my hand. And I said, be out of vessel. And he be out his own vessel. And I prayed for him because he is not just going to be a leader. Is going to be a leader that are going to anoint that's going to appoint leaders into positions, into great positions. And that's the reason why he has to have his own vessel so that he can be able, you understand, to appoint and bring leaders into position. And then when that was done, I left the building and the, the revelation ended. The revelation ended. So there was this man, I and, and, and this man is from the eastern extraction, it's from the east. He's from the his. I can't say whether it is Peter or B, or maybe an army from the someone in the army, maybe, but I know he is from the east. So Nigeria should be ready to be governed by a president from the or uh, eastern stretch from the eastern side of the country. <laughs> it is something that it is already destined to happen. That's already that has already, you know, that is already, you know, that has already been established. But he had to fight for it. He had to fight for it. And one thing I can say, I don't know whether it is Peter or B. I don't know whether, I know a lot of people are saying Peter or B, Peter or B, Peter or B, Peter or B. Well, well, fine. It could be the one. <laughs> and it could be someone else from the, you know, from the Nigerian army, something like that. 
to be someone else. So whether him or someone else, I'm very sure someone is coming in. He has already been anointed. He has already been anointed for that job. But all I can say is that I pray that he acts on the will of God to bring this country to where God wanted him to be. That is all I can say. That is all I can say. And I pray that God will uphold this country and raise this country to a greater height to where we have been praying to be. Whether the person is from the east, from the west, from the south, what we desire is a great Nigeria. What we desire is a good Nigeria. What we desire is a Nigeria that everyone can look upon and say, yes, this is my beloved country in whom I am well pleased. <laughs> yes. You know, when you're proud of your country, you can see it anywhere. You won't, be, you won't hide from anybody. You know, people from different parts of the country will come and say, yes, this person is in Nigeria. I love to be, I love to be part of Nigerians. So this is what I saw. This is what the Lord revealed to me as how the man from the East was anointed, that has been destined, was anointed to lead the country, to, to, to occupy that stronghold. And I believe that stronghold, that's, that building, we fast in Nigeria. Hallelujah. And also one thing I can also note again, like I said earlier, that Tenebo was asking for prayers. He was asking for prayers. This is a man that understands the power of prayers. <laughs> He's a man that understands the power of prayers. I remember sometimes ago, he, he's someone that God loves so much. He's someone that God loves so much. I don't know what, what he, he has done for God or what he's doing, but I believe that he's someone that God loves so much. Because it was the time like that that he fell sick. That the Lord actually used me to pray for him. He, the Lord wore my spirit to pray touch him and pray for him. After some few days, we learned that he was sick, but I knew that he has already been healed. And he came back in full health. So, and he said, pray for me. And I know that there are some people that are praying for him, that are with him, praying for him, standing before God. If God should listen to their prayers, <laughs> nothing may move him out of that place of authority until he is done, before that man of the East now comes in. So that is all I could say. If those people that are praying for him still keep praying for him in God's presence, then and God listen to them, then you know you might probably have him as your president. But if not, then that man of the East that has been destined and anointed and also anointed and appointed will surely come. He will surely come. So don't be, you don't be, oh, no, I don't want the Hebrews to, to rule. Oh, I don't want the Hebrews to rule. Oh, I don't want people from the Satis to rule. No. <laughs> they will rule. That day is coming. That day is coming. That's all I can say. That day is coming. Because it has been established in the Spirit. That day is coming. So I appeal to all Nigerians, do what you can do to bring this country to a greater height. Do what you can do to bring this country to where God has destined it to be. Do what you can do. Hallelujah. Whatever you can do, the connections you can get to help this country to rise on its feet. Do what you can do. Because this is your time. This is your period. Don't miss this hour. Nigerians, don't miss this hour. God bless in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. If you want me to pray along with you, I remember your brother in Christ. If you want me to pray along with you, do that state to shut me up on my on my email address. Because yeah, that's what I do mostly. <laughs> we praise on Sat on from Mondays to Saturdays online, WhatsApp and YouTube. I'm sorry, YouTube and Facebook. So you can always join in our prayer sections and I trust God to touch you and to heal you and to deliver you of whatever problems you might have been battle of it. It is well in the name of Jesus Christ. And if you'd like to support my ministry, I don't I wouldn't mind. God bless you as you do so in the name of Jesus Christ. You can always contact me. Most importantly, let us stand firm in Christ because the coming of the Lord is at hand. The coming of the Lord is at hand. See, all these things that are happening, they're happening for us to know that His coming is very near. Pestilences, Wars, famines, rumors of wars, these are things he mentioned. So these are the beginning of things. These things will lead to the eventuality of his appearing the second time. And they have started. 
see thousands of people died in Turkey and thousands more people are dying everywhere. These things we continue to happen. Sicknesses, pestilences, pandemics, great, greater pandemic that has been even been prophesied. They will happen very soon. But I pray that God will protect you and your family. And to the day of his coming, you remain blameless and spotless in the name of Jesus Christ. And by the end of everything, we will find ourselves before the throne of the Almighty, praising and worshiping his name in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. So I come here again to have a wonderful, blessed time. God bless you. God bless Nigeria. God bless Nigerians. God bless all the political office orders. God strengthen them and help us to lead this country to a greater height in the name of Jesus. Amen. Thank you for listening to me. God bless you. Don't forget again to subscribe to this channel and send this video and every other videos that you're going to, go to watch and share to your contacts. God bless you in the name of Jesus. Amen. Bye for now. I love you all.